Hello everyone, this is Rushida. Welcome to my channel. My last video was on about how to take indexes and slices of a multi-index data frame. This video is going to be almost like an extension to that video. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I have the link in the description box below. Please feel free to check. I used log, ilog, and index slice method. In this video, I will use xs method that returns the cross-section of a data frame. So let's import pandas as pd. Oh, then make the data frame pd dot read csv students performance dot csv. Okay, df dot head. Uh, I have the link to this data set students performance dot csv in the description box below. Please feel free to download and follow along. Okay. Now, this first, let's see the column names. Actually, not the column names. I, I have to um, use the column names because, look, uh, we don't have any index right now, only the serial number. Okay. So I have to set index. Well, I'll start from race, ethnicity, and to the course. As you can see, that here this data frame is about uh, some students' math, reading, and writing score, and we have lots of other parameters as well, like gender, race, ethnicity, parental level of education, and a couple more. So, I'm going to set all the other parameters as indexes and make it a five layer. Uh, I mean, uh, the index will be the five layers index. Let's see here. Okay, let's name it MDF. And now let's see MDF dot head. Look at it. So we have uh, indexes of five layers, five levels, and three columns, math, reading, and writing score. Okay. Why people um, set indexes like that, these many levels? Simple reason is if you want to query using all these uh, parameters, like if I want to see how the scores vary uh, depending on all these other parameters, uh, setting indexes make it really easier. Uh, if you have seen my last video, you, you already know it. Uh, otherwise, please feel free to check the link in the description box below. Yeah, and see the last video and in this video as well i'm showing the same thing mdf dot cross section now here if i want to see the race and ethnicity we have a b c d e several groups group b i want to see the students of group b only here it is the students of group b okay so, what if I want to see the students of group B and the parental level of education, some college, you see the bachelor's level, master's associate, some college. So let's see some college. And you can see that not a bad, ugly error. So the same, the reason is when you, you are putting two parameters or more than one, more than one, two, three, four, five, you have to make a tuple of it. So put these two in a tuple inside. Okay, here it is. Well, now if I want to see group B, some college and the students who take standard lunch. Look, more slicing. These are the students of group B. The parental level of education is some college and they take standard lunch. Okay, let's, you can take further slicing, test preparation course. Uh, you can make um, of the students who completed the test preparation course. Okay, and now I can go further and just choose the male students. 
Sometimes these are the students of Group B, Parent and Level of Education, some college. They take standard lunch and they completed the test preparation course and male students. Okay. Now, what if I don't worry about all this? I only want to see the students who completed the test preparation course. Okay, let's put, and I get the error again. The reason is, when I put only one parameter, it looks in the first index level. It looks in the race and ethnicity, this level. And there is nothing called completed in race and ethnicity. So it gives a key error, okay? So I have to mention, so if I put one parameter and that is not the first level, in that case, I have to mention the label, okay? The completed test preparation course is 0, 1, 2, 3, the level 3, okay? Here it is. Also, instead of just writing 3, instead of mentioning the level number, you can directly type it here. Level test preparation course. We don't need this. Okay. Here it is. That also works. Now, if I want to have more than one, uh, more than one level, as usual, I have to put them in the top of like I want to see the test preparation course completed and I also want to see the group B or group A students. Okay. I want to see the students of group A who completed the test preparation course. Okay, in that case, we have two levels. In the first level I have first race ethnicity, that's level zero. And second level is test preparation course, okay? Here it is. Instead, if you want, you can put numbers, both the numbers, zero and three, or you can use both the name of the labels, okay? Uh, instead of zero, put race, ethnicity and instead of three sorry instead of three put parental level of education oh sorry test preparation course okay here it is uh, and all this time i took the cross section of the indexes only right I have indexes of five levels and I took the uh, cross section of indexes only. What if I want to take the cross section of the columns, math score, reading score, and writing score? That's also very simple. Like if I want to see math score, I have to also mention the axis. Axis is one. Okay. I have all the five levels and then math score. If I want to see reading score as well, math score and reading score. Okay. So I hope mm, you know how to use cross section or XS method right now. Uh, and you will be able to use it in your own project. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, may, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.